welcome to my youtube channel journey of a child of god my name is karen johnson i just want to apologize to my subscribers my viewers i've been away for about three weeks and I just wanted to apologize for not posting and not informing my viewers and my subscribers. You people are the one who keep my channel going and who watch and I was not doing any videos. I should have, you know, make it known. However, today I'm here to do another video. My channel is Journey of a Child of God and I'm a bit fascinated with this name because it's a journey it's a journey as a child of God there's so much that we have to accomplish as a child of God there's so much that we have to do to maintain our relationship with God there's so much that we have to do to overcome the devil and his demons and this journey is very very important journey for us all so it's a wonderful feeling to be a child of god it's a wonderful feeling to praise god it's a wonderful feeling to be alive it's a wonderful feeling to love god welcome welcome again to my youtube channel journey of a child of god today i'm here to talk with you on the topic fornication yes i know i've done this topic already fornication but nevertheless i'm here to talk to you on fornication fornication is a sin yes there is many other sin that affect us as a child of god so i'm not here to place any great emphasis on just fornication but um you know i'm led to do this topic again fornication because it's something that really affects a lot of child of God and it's a struggle for a lot of individual and I believe that when we are on this journey nothing is wrong with hearing something over and over and over and over again that's how we learn that's how we become so aware the more we acquaint ourselves with the knowledge of God the more we're able to stand above the wiles of the devil hallelujah before I go into the Word of God let me say a quick word of prayer God you're awesome you're wonderful who can compare to you Holy Father you are that God who measure the sea you're that God who give the sea its door you are God you are sovereign and today I thank you for this opportunity that I'm here another time on this channel about to give you a word I pray that you will bless me I pray that you will bless my listeners I pray that you will bless all my subscribers I pray pray that your will will be done in Jesus name amen so yes fornication ding, 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 ding. Fornication. Fornication is a sin that um, you commit when you have sex outside of marriage. Sex before you get married. Hallelujah. So, God doesn't want us to indulge in sex outside of marriage. Sex before we get married. God wants us to live an obedient life where we seek him and he provide a partner for us and we marry to that person and stick with that one person that he gives us in marriage unless otherwise we decide to give up what he has given us but basically we have to choose one partner to be with so we have to be married before we indulge in sexual intercourse hallelujah according to God's standard and now 
when I look at 1 Corinthians 6 and I want to read from 12 to 20 and this will be basically the base of my message 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 all things are lawful to me but not all things are helpful all things are lawful for me but I will not be brought under the power of anything food is for the belly and the belly is for food but God will destroy both of them now the body is not for sexual immorality but for the Lord and the Lord is for the body God is raised up the Lord and will also raise us up with his own power do you not know that your bodies are parts of Christ shall I then take the parts of Christ and make them the parts of a harlot God forbid what do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her for the two he say shall become one flesh but he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him escape from sexual immorality every sin that a man commit is outside the body but he who commits sexual immorality sin against his own body what do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from God that you are not your own you are brought with a price therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit which are God's hallelujah and today glorify God in your body your body is to glorify God your body belongs to God when you accept him and decide to live for him you give up of self now you're living for God glorify God with your body that's what the word is saying we must glorify God with our body hallelujah and now there's one thing that's really defeating a lot of us one thing that defeat us lust lust allow us to commit fornication lust allow us to do a lot of things that is not in the will of God lust so we have to overcome lust even though I'm talking about fornication, the big thing behind the fornication is lust. Hallelujah. So we have to get rid of lust. We have to get rid of lust. 1 John 2 verse 16. I want to read 1 John 2 verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. We are no longer children of this world. Once we were, but we are no longer children of this world. But what are the things of the world that affects us? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. What is the lust of flesh? If you read Galatians 5, it tells you so much about the flesh, the loss of the flesh. Those are things. Today I'm just here to talk about fornication. So the loss of the flesh is sexual sins, right? And that's fornication that I'm talking about. The loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, looking with your physical eyes at somebody and have the desire for that person. And the lust of the eyes, another pornography, 
porn a lot of people spend a lot of time watching porn all those things is what you see with your eyes that conceive give you the desires for certain things lust hallelujah the pride of life my god you know satan before he became satan it was a beautiful angel in heaven my god god gave him so much but you know what happened while he fall pride and pride has developed in a lot of us who are children of god a lot of men of men of god women of god children of god have failed have fallen because they allow pride to develop so these are things of the world and these are lust things that are desire so what is lust lust is a craving desire something that you crave for it is it's the focus of pleasing oneself so you have that desire to do something and you act upon it say lust is that great desire of sexual feeling to desire sex to want sex to desire wrong things that's another thing again right lust lust give us all that desire that desire to please yourself that strong craving my god it's a strong craving you know sometimes when a woman is pregnant they have great craving crave for sweet crave for some chicken crave for something but you know what happened this will last let you crave for the wrong things hallelujah so we have to identify if we're struggling with these things we have to know if we're struggling with these things if we can overcome lust maybe we won't fall in that temptation maybe we won't fall in that situation where we commit fornication fornication is having sex outside of marriage a lot of us were in the church but a lot of us they're not married a lot of us are waiting but a lot of us are being tempted the devil go around the devil sometimes know our weaknesses know where we're coming from in this world and he try to tempt us things but let's not be carried away by our own temptation our own desire you know first corinthians 10 i want to look at first corinthians 10 verse 13 it says no temptation has taken you except what is common to man god is faithful and he will not permit you to be tempted above what you can endure but will with the temptation also make a way to escape so god will not allow you to be tempted more than what you can endure and he will allow the temptation to to also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it so he will give you that ability to bear that temptation to overcome that temptation right so god will not allow you to fall in temptation he will able to keep you up when you are in the will of god he will not allow this right but a lot of us we don't we don't we're not in the will of god because we're not living to what god is required of us we are disobedient and i want to turn my bibles now to james 1 and i'm gonna read from verse 12 to show you if you're not in the will of god trust me this this temptation it can't overtake you blessed is a man who endures temptation for when he is tried he will receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to those who love him so you will be tempted but if you overcome that temptation there's a crown waiting for you in glory jesus was tempted by satan and he overcome that temptation because you have to live in the word you have to be in true obedience to god and when you live in true obedience to god no matter how the devil try to tempt you you will overcome it let no man say when he is tempted i am tempted by god for god cannot 
be tempted with evil neither does he tempt anyone but each man is tempted when he is drawn away by his own lust you hear that each man is tempted when he's drawn away by your own lust and entice that when lust when lust has conceived it bring forth what sin and when sin is finished it bring forth death this is what the word of god is saying that when sin when lust is conceived it bring forth sin and you are carried away in your own lust that's when you actually that's when you will fall in that temptation when you are, are carried away with your lust so you know in my last video i gave an example with david and uriah's wife and i'm about to give that same example okay david was home and he went up on the rooftop when he was on the rooftop he looked he saw a woman naked now remember this is lust so he looked up on the woman naked and he had a desire right now you know that as a child of God it is wrong for you to have sex outside of marriage but when you look upon that woman you lust after her when you look upon that man you lust after him David inquire of this woman found out that this woman was the wife of Uriah he found out who she was and after he found out who she was he spent some time to send to fetch her and she spent some time to reach him yet he was still in that desire to act now as a child of God we cannot be commit fornication just like that no we see that person we desire we act upon that desire my god and when it enters our heart we act upon it remember if you want to buy if you want to have a car you have to go through a certain step before you can acquire that car first you have to know what kind of car what year or what do you desire can i buy this cash do i have cash to buy the car where what dealer am i going to go to get to the car how i will have to license the car insure the car you have to do so many things in preparation before you can actually own a car for you to commit fornication you have to do many things before it happens you have to look upon the person you have to conceive it to desire the desire the affection to have that sex to do wrong you have to meet up you have to come together you have to go privately to conceive to do that thing so that lust takes some time before it all act out before that sin is comes up right but but something must prompt you to say but i'm a child of god right and if i'm a child of god the word of god says that i'm a new creature and fornication is a sin and I'm aware of all these things when that loss is conceived you won't fall by it so when I was reading in 1st Corinthians 6 further down it says um what did Paul says here it says all things are lawful for me but I will not be brought under the power of anything now we all have power but Satan has power too, right? So when you allow that lust to, to develop inside of you, you're going to be brought under that power, right? And that power is going to overpower you and you are going to fall. You are going to fall, right? So you cannot allow the pride of life, the, the flesh to overpower you, the eyes to overpower you. You know, Job said in Job 31, he said, I have made a covenant with my eyes why then should I look up at a young woman so when you make this covenant with this eye this eye can't look and look lost after anything no all right because you already bind that up you spend time in prayer you spend time grooming yourself 
in Romans 8 it says that you can't please God by living in the flesh you have to please God in the spirit so when you are aware of the things of the flesh my God you put them under the power of God you bring them down you fast and you pray a lot of us struggling from different things some of us are, have some generation curse on us too where our parents used to be involved in many different relationships and we think that we should follow the same pattern or that same demon will come and try to think that we need to follow that same pattern no we have to fight against lust we have to pray against the lust we cannot allow lust to conceive in us that we fall we fall for these things as it says escape from sexual immorality every sin that a man commit is outside the body but he who commits sexual immorality sin against his own body you sin against your own body right you sin against your own body which the body is a temple of the holy spirit right here so it says shall i then make the parts of christ and make them the parts of a harlot now anybody can lie down with whatever spirit you have whatever spirit you have whatever spirit they have you share you share right so that's why it says if you lie down with a harlot you're gonna become a harlot right and a lot of us we don't wait upon God to find out what is God what is the desire of God for us but we have to be very patient that we don't get caught up in having sex before marriage sometime even when we have sex before a marriage this relationship don't work and then you will become soul tied with that individual no spend some time to rebuke lust that we don't fall for it in Ephesians 4 verse 22 I will read that you put all the former ways of life in the whole nature which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust lust deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind so you not when you see that thing coming up inside of you that lust that desire you rebuke it and you renew your mind renew your mind knowing that you're a child of God you have power over these things because God is giving you power just as we give the Lord power he gives you also power to overcome these things so don't become don't come under the power of anything else but use the power that god has actually given you don't let don't let lust ruin you that you fall into fornication so that's my few words for you today thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for commenting thank you so much i mean thank you so much everyone who takes some time out to to watch because you know people are so busy people have things to do and there's so many different videos here on youtube so when somebody takes time out to really watch your video to listen to what you have to say you know i'm grateful thank you guys for tuning into my channel journey of a child of god i hope these words will make a difference to your life as well as to educate you so you can pass on the information to somebody else out there fornication is not a sin that god wants us to indulge in it it does a lot to our body it, it takes on different spirit form and some a lot of people get hurt in these things because when you become sexually tied you you have that affection for somebody and then sometimes that person don't really want to carry on that relationship and a lot of people get hurt just by just committing fornication also so we don't want to go down that road we just want to avoid fornication because we know it is a sin and because we love god we don't want to do anything to be in disobedience with our lord thank you again for tuning into my channel journey of a child of god